Live from Cleveland, this is Progressive Field. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First pitch coming your way next. Almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Shane Bieber. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, this guy featuring that straight four seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. And here it comes. Outside, that's a ball. Swings through that one for strike two. Got him swinging for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Seiya Suzuki now at the plate. And ball one. One out, base is empty. There's a strike. One and one. And another ball. Righty delivers. Nope, that's the ball. Ian Hatt waiting to hit for the Cubs. Three one now. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the oh. first. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Ian Hatt in the box now. No balls and a strike. You'll want. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Good job to fight that one off. Owen oh Chu now. Rip to short. Toss to Naylor. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. Now the Guardians will get their shot. Still scoreless. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Cleveland. And on the hill, the lefty, Justin Steele. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The left fielder, Stephen. The pitch. And a strike. 0 oh 1.
up and in and it's a ball to strike. Well he's so great about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate oh, coverage. Down. Gets it to first one gone bottom half of the first. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Here's Andres Jimenez. Just Ooh, off the inside. inside edge. One down, base is empty. Now a fly ball to right center. Lunges, but it gets down. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Well, the first reaction was bad and it created the wrong angle. I think it was a catchable ball, but because he doesn't get a good read off the bat, turns it into a double. One out, runner at second. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The winning run on second base. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Left field. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming Batting open forward. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And now it's Josh Naylor, known for his late inning heroics. Just missed. Right on the ground the first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Guardians leave one. Scoreless after one. Back now at Progressive Field. New inning getting started. Now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Cody Bellinger. Bieber back to work. And that one fouled off. And strike two. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. Now a screamer into the outfield. And Bellinger is out. Runner tags at second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Dansby Swanson stands in. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Nick Sandlin preparing to come on if needed. Karen check warming up as well. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Huge strikeout there. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably.
So up next, Christopher Morell. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch misses. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. And downstairs. At the belt and fires. That one's in there. Two and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down in it. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Here in Cleveland, here's Ramon Laureano. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And another ball. Just off the inside edge. Bo Naylor waiting for a turn at the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Swings and misses. Full count now. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. In the air right field. Pretty well struck. Suzuki going back. Just missed it. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge that spot. That wall, it can very Whoa. easily jar the ball loose when you bang Whoa. into it, so that could have been that a really different play. outcome. A move being Number made at third on the pinch Esteban. run for the Guardians. Esteban Florio. Bo Naylor at the plate now. This is the classic manufacturing a run situation. A runner at third, less than two outs, and a golden opportunity to bring him home. Fastball for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And that one fouled off. Winning run at third, one down. Bottom half of inning number two. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And that's too high. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you've got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Out to short. It gets through. That's it. In comes the winning run. And the Guardians walk it off. While you come to the ballpark, hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. one nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.